PSL 10 here. Thank you so much for joining me. And so now we're going to be doing our collective scrying. Hopefully you've gathered and created your scrying mirror. You've bought your, your scrying bowl or your divination tool. For me, I just have a very simple obsidian mirror I'm going to be using for my divination. So if you have your candles ready and everything set up, let's begin. So if you'd like to see how I, had a, how I set up everything, you can see my previous video where I explain a little bit about what I did. So, I do recommend starting out with the lights low. This way it kind of gets you into that kind of mystical, spiritual mindset. Okay. Now, go ahead and grab your mirror and let's begin. And if you're joining me in the scrying, please pause the video now. Do you get your messages and then watch it after. Okay, so as I'm going in here, what I just keep getting is this treasure chest. I've seen this before, not too long ago, either. And it, it feels as though, let me clear away some energetic debris here. Bring light to this. Okay, I see. So I see this treasure chest here, and it looks to be in a very dark area. And what I feel that this is meaning... For a lot of us, we have... A lot of us that are in this arena, we have so many gifts and blessings just waiting it's just waiting that the treasure chest is wide open all of these gifts and blessings are just waiting for us to go and grab them and where they're located currently is in one's unconscious mind so that makes sense so this is just a message encouraging us to go deeper into meditations because we have so many gifts lined up and waiting for us. So, what I also saw here was a pack of buffalo. Let's see. What is the message here? Bison. Yeah. So, huh. What I feel this means is that now, now it is time to really get with those you love and just stampede towards your goals, right? If you have a team, if you have a crew, if you have support, get together and just go for your go for your dreams right now. Right now is amazing energies. I see again in this vision. I'm just seeing the sun is just blazing bright full of potential and positive energies that makes so much sense i think just currently we astrologically we went um uh, mercury now is now in leo and Le and mercury has gone direct so that makes total sense to me hmm, let's see what else they want to show us so now what I'm seeing, it, it looked like a forest, and it seemed to be in the fall. I saw a lot of birch trees, orange leaves on the ground, and there was this large rock that went up, sloped upwards. And near the top, I saw, um, like, someone behind you was trying to push you off this, off this little cliff, off this ledge. But you were leaned all the way back, and they were trying to push you from, from back here. And it's just not working. Um, so what it, what this is meaning is that now is not the time to be res to be resisting that push to go forwards. Now is that time to take that leap, take that leap, especially when we come to this the fall upcoming. That is so interesting. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm still in this forest. And I'm just moving by the trees right now. It almost feels like I'm gliding past them, racing towards something. Okay, what I'm getting after I raced through these trees and docked and went under and 
flew side by side all of these trees as they brought me to this little this little house in the middle of this forest. It feels very cozy. Huh, that's really awesome. So again, the energetics of this house, I saw again a man and a woman in here, and they were just doing very leisurely activities. Rocking back and forth. Right, and the man was just sitting in front of his fire, just relaxing. And the woman was off in the corner reading a book. It was just this really nice, relaxed energy. Okay, so what this is telling me is that we have so many gifts waiting for us. We just have to go down to get them. We also need to, st if there's any resistance we have towards taking a leap towards our goals and what our passions, what our heart desires, we should take that leap. And once we journey a little bit further, right, and just in life in general, or just a little bit further in the fall upcoming, is this is this place in your life where it will just be oh, like this bliss, like there's, there's absolutely no worries. It was just pure relaxation and bliss. It's kind of like, it kind of felt like after like a day of work, errands, you know, uh, your partner, you know, scolding you or just a high, high stress day and you just come home and you kick off your shoes and you sit back and you just release that first breath that, you know, that first breath is just like, <sighs> it's like that energy but it's held continuously. So we have this amazing energy upcoming for us. We just need to trust and take that leap forwards. Let's see what else it is showing me. So now I'm seeing a, a pentacle or, or a pentagram. And as I go to the top of the pent pentacle, which represents spirit, what I'm taking to is the snowy mountain, and I'm oh, getting chills. I'm seeing this man. He's climbing up this mountain. He has this, this hiking stick. He's going into the snow one step at a time. He has this large backpack on. He's just going up, going up, going up. So what this means is spiritually right now, we should be climbing that mountain. We should be putting in those steps towards our goals to reach that top of the mountain, right? Again, a white snowy mountain. Again, depending on you know what your what your paradigm is, what your um, belief system is, white is source energy. White is you know the all um, that energetics, right? So at this time, for those of you who are on that path, going up um, towards source or the all, now is the time to really get connected really get connected and go on that journey go on that journey so let's go to the next element here because i think there's so much for us to see let's see let's go to the next element fire so as my vision zooms in on the tip of that fire point on the pentacle let's see i i just see a it looks like a man, an effeminate man. It looks like an effeminate man. And he had this, he was laying down like this. And he was laying inside of a coffin, getting chills now. And in this in this coffin, um, again, this, this red velvet, you know, very nice, elegant coffin. And there's just flames all around him when he was in this coffin this coffin so what what my guides and my allies are showing me is that a message you know for me or for the viewers if this resonates with you is now is time to put death to anything that doesn't serve us and allow that fire to just transform us right allow that passion to transform us oh, that is amazing i love this i love this so much so fire is also alchemy Fire is also alchemy. Now, let's keep looking. Let's go to the element of earth. What does the earth element have to say to us? It's like holding on the earth. I go right down to this dirt. The dirt is kind of cracked. There's, 
yeah, a lot of cracks under it, very dry soil. And the further I'm going, I've seen spots of grass here and there. Oh, what animal is that? I'm seeing a bird of some kind. It looks like a dove to me. Yeah, it's a dove. It flies path, past me as I'm walking down this pathway towards these trees out in the distance. And again, these, these are evergreen trees, so it, it's correlation to winter. Correlation to winter. Right, the end of the year. Well, again, I'm taking... It, it looks to me like a hunter to me is walking this pathway. As, as, I, as I go third person mode as to who exactly is point of view I'm in, it seems to be a hunter. I see on some camouflage gear. Oh, let's go deeper into this. Right, I'm seeing some some of the typical um, game creatures. So a doe, a deer, you know, very large horns. So I believe the horns are very valuable. So what this means is that as we are walking our path, and as long as we are staying clear to our virtue, right, the dove is purity, staying clear with that purity of self, and whatever manner that is, especially when it comes to your your true will, staying true to your true will, if you keep going on that journey, even if the soil isn't very fertile right now, it's going to get more fertile by the time winter hits. If you just keep working and keep doing the magic, keep putting in your energies, it's going to grow and you're going to get this place of very, very, very fertile soil, these strong trees, evergreens, evergreen, right? You'll be blessed with abundance. Again, evergreen. Green is the money. It's it's, it's the it's the color of finances, right? Uh, also of healing. Um, and again, so as you just go on this journey, again, staying true to your true will, what it is you came here to do, there's going to be a lot of abundance manifesting for you. Again, I saw these very large game creatures, right? Like a very large deer, massive antlers, just kind of standing there. So, keep going, because earthly conditions, money is going to increase by this winter for those of you that this vision is for. So, let's move over to the next part of the pentacle here. And what I'm seeing for the water element, I'm seeing... A woman now, pale skin, dark hair, she's, she's, it looks to be a lake of some kind, or the, or perhaps the, the ocean near the shore, and she's swimming, she has a, a knife in her mouth as she swims, and she's going down, she's diving down into the water and coming right back up for air shortly after, but Okay, so in the beginning, she was kind of going down for just a second, coming right back up, when she could have held in her breath for so much longer. She could have went deeper and deeper into her emotions, into her water for so much of a longer time, but she kept coming back up, not wanting to go so deep, right? Until eventually, I see her now just kind of go, accepting and just going all the way down, just swimming downwards into this into her water, into her emotions, okay? So, what they showed me was um, a shark, you know, a predator. So, in the emotions, there are things that still need to be addressed, right? In this vision, she didn't turn away from that, you know, that shark, that scary image, that shadow energy. She didn't turn away from it. She kept swimming. She kept going deeper and deeper, regardless of it being in there. She acknowledged it for sure, uh, but didn't let it stop her on her pathway. So, after she keeps going down i'm seeing you know this coral and all oh, this this very 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 beautiful um ocean floor here and, and then i saw like this this um wrecked ship remains of a wrecked ship and she goes into it and again there's that treasure chest there's that treasure chest so again strong strong messages that are resonating with and communicating to us that going deep within 
there's so many gifts waiting for us. It's it is it's an insane amount of gifts waiting for us. And again, this chest is wide open, exposed, ready to be taken. Um, so, yeah, it's really awesome. Really awesome. So make sure you're diving deep into your emotions, acknowledging whatever it is that you're avoiding. If it's shadow that you need to look at, look at it. Keep going deeper and deeper, and there is this blessing that comes right after that. Just It's, it's such a great blessing. The energy of it feels amazing. So now let's go to the element of air. Let's see, what is the message in regards to the element of air here? Wow. And as I just dive deep into this last point on the pentacle here, I'm just taking to, I'm, I'm in the sky right now, I'm just soaring up by the clouds. <laughs> so again, there is a motif of, um, of Icarus here, not flying too close to the sun with wax wings. So as I was flying, um, I did see someone else um, start going down very quickly. Um, but they were able to shift their energies and start gliding back up again. I saw them making full recovery and going steady again, right? So let me keep looking. Wow. So, it's funny how it all kind of ties in. So, as I'm flying in the sky here, up by the clouds, I see that mountain that I saw in the beginning. This time in the mountain, there's this, this artificially placed um, indent in it. It was very deep. Um, but it, what looked like to me was a, um, like a, a, like a trade post of some kind. There's a lot of exchanges. They're kind of like a marketplace almost. But I, what they only show me one trading stand. And there was a merchant there. And, and this person buying product, right? And as he's buying product, he's handing him his business card. He's handing him, excuse me, his personal information. He's communicating to this merchant, excuse me, and some, to someone who's already well established and set up, that, hey, look, um, you know, here's what I'm interested in. Here's what I do. Um, you know, they're, they're communicating their passions and what he desires. And, and he's, again, very bold about it. So just to kind of tie everything in together, during this time, for those of you that this message is for, there are so many gifts and treasures waiting for you. All you need to go is go deep to get them. They're, it's right there waiting. Okay, now is the time to be trekking the mountain up towards your spiritual pinnacle. There is so much positive energy in the air right now. Now is also time for death and rebirth with the coffin and the fire. Okay, be as the phoenix. In the earth element, again, we saw if you're going through time where the fertile isn't so soil, as long as you keep walking with purity towards your true will, the, the ground gets very, very fertile. There are, there's evergreens in your future as well. Again, that's abundance. That's a solid, very stable flow of income, right? And there's there's a lot of money opportunities and positivity when it comes to finances in the near future. Again, with those evergreens, the soil, and again, these, these large, large deer, large, okay? And the water element or the emotions, instead of going into the motion surface level and going right back up because it's uh, I don't want to go that deep, right? Go all the way down. If there's shadow when things that need to be addressed, address them and keep going, right? And again, end the emotions going deep. There is this treasure to be found. That same treasure chest that was in that first vision of that very dark room. The same treasure chest is just hidden right there in the emotions. Okay, right there in the emotions. As for the air element, what was the message of the air, air element? Do fly high. Do aim high. But don't be as Icarus with his wax wings. Don't go too high. Don't be too cocky. Don't be too egoic. Make sure you're following your intuition. Make sure you're following 
listen to the ethers, right? That, that intuitive sense, the air around us, right? Flying forwards above the clouds, you will, you will be able to effectively have opportunities manifest for you that aids you in communicating your passions to others, which further grows what you're trying to do. Again, so this communication with others is going to be very important pretty soon. Once you're flying high, keep communicating, keep networking, keep talking to others, keep, again, it's really, really, really crucial to communicate your desires to others. So, that is all for this video. I am so excited to see what you guys have to have to say. I've already seen, like, I think two um, of the of the um, audience members, Black Mirrors and Crystal Bowls, uh, sorry, Black Bowls, so I'm so excited to see the rest of them. I'm interested to see, you know, what kind of visions you get, what messages you get, um, even who you call in, uh, if that's not, you know, something private, hey, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys are getting. Uh, I also really want to see if there's any correlations, if, if, if there's any strings or anything that kind of pairs up. I think that would be really, really, really interesting. So thank you so much for watching, and um, I'm just so excited to see your insights. May magic be with you. Oh, and one last thing. Make sure you soil your fertile. Ha, 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 ha.